it's time for another episode of Woofs and Whiskers. Here at Pets Inc, there are a ton of adoptable pets that you can look through, see what's a good fit for you. But today we're meeting Figaro. Caroline, tell us a little bit about Figaro. Figaro came to us probably about nine months ago. She, her owner and his wife split up. Mm -hmm. And he couldn't afford to take care oh, of the no. animals, so he brought Figaro to us. Oh, and how old is Figaro? She's 10. She's okay. She's also declawed in the front. Oh, and I can tell she is a, she's a big girl. She is a big girl. Does she have any health issues? Or no. she She's just... She's just... Say, I'm just me. She's just fluffy. <laughs> say, I'm a big girl. And she seems pretty friendly. What's her personality like? She is friendly. She's the type of cat that would like to sit on the couch and watch soap operas all day. I love that. Huh. So did she come with the name Figaro or did you name no, her? No, actually her original name was Mittens. Oh, I love but that. We've used Mittens quite a few times. I'm sure. So again, we were on the Disney theme. Yeah. So she was named Figaro. And so I heard one of the, the other people here was calling her Fig. That's a cute little yes. nickname. Uh -huh. What kind of family would you suggest adopt a cat like Figaro? I would say an older family. I don't know how well yeah. she would she could tolerate children. Yeah. Um, so I just need to be with somebody who stays at home all day and watches TV. Mm-hmm. Yep, she seems like she would be a great companion. Is she a cuddler? She is. Yeah. When she wants to. Mm hmm yeah it seems you're playing her game here you're living in her world That's right. <laughs> and she is cute I love the patches she's not just a black cat she's got a lot of patches oh, yeah. of white and a lot of patches of black within the white too she's really cute and she's like very plush she feels like a stuffed animal she does, how, like one too. <laughs> she does. do you know about how much she weighs I think the last time we weighed her she was about 14 pounds oh wow yes. And the typical domestic cat is maybe like seven, seven to ten seven, or so. Yeah, seven, yeah. yeah, yeah. So she is big. Does she move around a lot? Is she active or just kind of a couch no, potato? No, she's a couch potato. <laughs> so I sit on my perch till I know Miss Deborah's going to come in and feed me in the morning. Yes, and she knows right where those treats are. Yes, she does. So, for an older cat um, like Figaro, what would the veterinary care look like? She's very healthy. But, okay. Um, she probably needs to go on a diet. Yeah. You need to watch what she eats. So how would someone do that with a cat? Because like as we know, cats are, you know, they, they do their own thing. It's kinda of, can be hard to she would you know, do that kind of stuff. Probably like a, a veterinary food or some type of diet. Okay. Mm-hmm. And um, you just have to portion feed her. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Fed, but it sits there all day and I just nibble and I don't want Oh, she's a grazer. Yeah, she's a grazer, but yes. she, can't be, she can't have a lot of food left. Okay. So does she get along with other cats or dogs? No. No, she she's an only child. Yes, she is. Tell us where we are right now. What is this room? We are in the kitten room. Okay. Um any kitten that comes in once they go through the process of their <laughs> intake, they're bedded, dewormed. They come in here. They stay in here until they're fixed, spay or neutered. Mm -hmm. Once they're spay and neutered, they can go in the big cat room. Okay. But if and they also can be adopted here. Wow. Before they're spay or neutered. So someone who's looking for a cat, would they come through here and kind of find? Yes. Yes. This is all. Normally, this is just for the kittens. Okay. Yeah. So what's what's Fig doing in here? Because she doesn't get along with the kittens in the next room. <laughs> so I have my own little space. She gets special treatment, yes, as she, she should. 